Hello students. Today I will be explaining you about diary entry. Now I hope you can easily assimilate when I say diary entry or diary writing. What is a diary entry? A diary entry is a very informal and a personal form of writing. It is a kind of a journal where one expresses his or her feelings, thoughts, plans or opinions. One can also describe his or her experience or narrate an event which holds importance. So what is a diary entry? It is something very personal. It is something very informal. It is never formal. And a diary entry is an entry that you make in your personal diary. All of us have diaries. All of us express our feelings when we don't want to speak about something we write it in uh, maybe a diary or we write it in a rough notebook that we have so a diary entry is basically a notebook that you maintain a personal notebook that you maintain which is very personal to you it is not meant for public reading and it is something that is very close to your heart because you express your feelings in it it is not just a description of the events happening throughout the day. It is majorly about your feelings, what you feel, what you think is right. And nobody can judge your diary because it is very personal. Now because we are writing diary from an examination point of view, of course the examiner is going to read your diary. But Otherwise, if you write it personally, a diary entry is something very personal. It is informal. It is an expression to your thoughts and feelings. And nobody is going to judge what you write. Except from examination point of view where it is going to be marked and checked. When is a diary written? It can be written. Now some people write diary every night. Before sleeping, they write what happened with them throughout the day, how they felt. Some people don't write it every day. Some people only write it when they uh, want to express their happiness or when they are very sad about something. It may happen in weeks. It may happen in months. So it depends. You can write it every day. You can write it every week. You can write it every month or you can write it on alternate days or whenever on the day something good or something not very good happens in your life. It is important to mention the date and time while making an entry in the diary. Because see, diary entry is your personal journal. It is your personal diary but it is important that you write the date and time so that whenever you look back into your diary, maybe after some years you read your diary. So you should exactly know when you wrote it because that adds more value and more feelings to what you have written. And you can easily recall that, oh, on this day at this time I was feeling like this. So date and time is very important in a diary. Now guidelines. How do you write a diary entry? First, of course, the language has to be personal and informal. That means the language of a diary has to be very personal and informal because it is not going to be read by anyone. It is not very formal because you are not writing it for others. You are writing it for yourself. So you have to be very informal and very personal. And express your feelings and viewpoints freely. Be honest and free-flowing in your expression. So diary entry is majorly about your feelings and not only what happened throughout the day. For example, if I ask you to write a diary entry of your day, so it will not be a itinerary in which you only write down what happened. At 7 o'clock I got up, at 9 o'clock I ate my breakfast and then I started studying. After that I had my lunch and in the evening I went to play and then at night now I am going to write my diary and sleep. This is not a diary entry. It is a, basically it is a timetable. Diary entry is more about feelings. For example, I got up at 7 in the morning. I did not feel fresh. So I went out for a long walk. When I came back, mummy was ready with yummy breakfast for me. Oh, how I love eating pancakes and how I enjoy eating home cooked food. And then some of my friends came. We had such a wonderful time. I love my friends and I can do anything for them. This is a diary entry in which you'd write what you feel along with what happened throughout the day. So make sure you write your feelings as well and be honest in expressing yourself because nobody is going to read your diary except from examination point of view I am again saying it. Okay. 
Now date and time is mandatory once again. It is very important to write the date and time. Now format. Diary entry will include these four things. First would be the date. This is how a date is written. Month, date, comma, year. Then comes the day. Whatever the day is. Then comes the time. And see diary entry is usually written uh, at night only. When you are relaxed and when you are free from all other works and there is no stress on your mind. Usually people write diaries during night or when they are absolutely free. Of course it is not compulsory that you have to write a diary at night only. Maybe you are free throughout the day and your vacations are going on. So you can write it at any point of time. But if you are maintaining a diary every day, usually people write it at night. Because at that time, they don't have any other work to do. Then you write the time and then the first name. In the end, you can write down your first name. It is your choice. Now you can write your first name also because it is written by you. Or if you don't want to write your first name, maybe you can do a small signature of your name. Only the first, not your surname, only your first name. You can do your signature, you can write your first name like Riya, Priya, Raima, Vir, Vikram, anything. Or you can straight away write down bye. As if you are telling your diary, diary is like your best friend. So you are talking to your diary basically. So in the end you can also write bye, take care, things like that. Okay. So diary never has a fixed format except that the day, time and day has to be mentioned. But because you are writing it from examination point of view, so all of you must follow the uniform pattern. And everyone should follow the same thing. How a diary entry looks like. Now this is a diary entry. Okay. Now here, when I have written the paragraph, of course there are some lines which are not in alignment. Can you see the first line is in left and then the second line starting from relaxing has gone. Because this is a format of this PowerPoint. Otherwise you have to write it in on the left side only everything has to be written starting from the left okay so first see like i told you is the date september 5 comma year 2020 in the next line comes your day monday tuesday whatever the day is then leave one line and then write the time leave one line and then start writing now after leaving one line after the time some people also write down dear diary that is your choice if you want to write leave one line after time and write down dear diary and then you can start writing the diary, but that is not compulsory. So straight away, see what I have written today. Becky and it is a normal diary entry made on any normal day. Today, Becky and I went to the park and lay our heads on the green grass. I felt so relaxing and we remained there till the sundown. It was a memorable experience. I hope my cousins come to see me soon so I can share that experience with them here. Oh, and we were also close to getting punished by our parents for getting late. Mom warned me not to get late from the next time. How I managed to calm her down. I don't want her to forbid me from going to the park with Becky during the evenings. I behaved my best till the night and helped mom serve dinner. She seemed happy. I really hope she forgets everything by tomorrow. We'll be writing soon again. Raima. Now see, we'll be writing soon again is just like a line that I'm writing to my best friend that I'll write soon to you. But here I am... Uh, pointing towards my diary that I will be writing soon again and then I leave one line and write my first name. Now instead of Raima I can do my signatures also. I can write down bye, take care, anything to my diary but prefer writing first name because we are all following a uniform pattern from exams point of view. Okay. Now if you see I have marked some things in red. These things that have been marked in red are basically to stress on the fact that you have to express your feelings. Otherwise I can write the same paragraph in the form that today I went to the park, Becky and I laid on the garden, then we came back home, uh, Mama scolded me, I helped Mama in after that so that Mama did not get very angry and then uh, I went to sleep. That would be a timetable of what I did in the evening but see in this paragraph I have highlighted so many things where I have uh, expressed my feelings. It felt so relaxing. It was a memorable experience. I hope my cousins come. I behaved my best. How I managed to calm her down. I really hope she forgets everything by tomorrow. So I'm expressing. Now this thing is very important in a diary entry where you write a diary entry. Make sure it should not look like a timetable. 
it should have your feelings how you felt about things that were happening with you throughout the day or maybe i can ask you to write a diary entry on a trip that you had taken to shimla so when you write about that trip try to express feelings everywhere for example when we reached shimla how beautiful the weather was this was the best trip i ever had i felt so relaxed i felt i feel like going to shimla again and again so you're expressing your feelings rather than just writing i went to shimla then we went to the market then we came back to the hotel we ate, ate our dinner next day we went to see the temples and after that we went for skiing no express your feelings as well which is very important for a diary entry i hope you people have understood this thing now try to write something on your own try writing a diary because writing is the best way of expressing yourselves and it is the best way of you for you to improve your writing skills and to hone on your writing skills so go through the format and try writing a diary start writing a diary of how you felt throughout the day that would make things easier for you thank you everyone